Let's go see if anybody's getting any work done. What you working on, Ben? Oh, he's fitting a lug. This is the heart and soul of the gun. Fitting, Barrel lug? Fitting these bottom lugs right here. Uh, yes, what we're doing is trying to make the slide stop mate perfectly with these bottom lugs while it's interacting with the top lugs in the slide. So the goal is to get a perfect fit between the top and the barrel comes forward. It's gonna go into lockup on that slide stop pin and you don't want any play in between the slide and the slide stop. Up and down play? Uh, up and down, yeah. So when you see people, they take a 1911 and they'll just put it in a lockup and they'll push on the barrel. That's what everybody does. Right. You're That's because they see you do it. Yeah, they're testing to see if there's any play in lockup between the slide stop pin and the top lugs. Okay. And ideally there shouldn't be. So if there's play, the barrel will go down. Right, and yeah. Okay. Be, you don't want to feel any movement there. Okay. Uh, the trick. So why is that so hard to get right? Uh, well, the trick to hand filing is when you, as I'm fitting it here, you put some marks on the slides, or on the uh, bottom lugs there, and you want equal contact. Really, you want a perfect fit between this slide stop pin and those lugs. So you want equal contact on each side. And then, because if it's not equal on the sides, then, then, it, then it can rock side to side too, right? Yeah, well, or, or it wears faster. You know, the more contact surface you have, the longer the fitment will stay true. So the more contact surface. The oh, gotcha, as rounds build up on the gun. Yeah, so if you have one little high, high spot that's locking the gun up, that high spot will wear down over time and then you'll get some loose, get looser and looser. Yeah. Uh, so the, the trick here is to, well, the barrel is in this orientation when it's in the gun, but right. for fitting, we look at it this way. You want a flat and then a radius that matches this slide stop radius. The diameter of that. The diameter, yeah. yeah. And the trick is to file this flat yeah. while moving those lugs to the rear so that the slide will come far enough forward that you can at least get your thumb safety up. Okay. Uh, a lot of guys will cheat. They'll have a whole lot to blend back here and thumb safety won't go on So then they'll start cutting the slide out or doing a lot of blending, but you can run into a lot of problems Okay, so generally you want to come as least as far forward to let the thumb safety come up And then, and then that's when we bend, blend the back of the gun, right? right and then when, Once you get the location, you know, it's all blended when you're done, right? Uh, but the trick to this Is taking the round file when you're doing it by hand and moving this these lugs back without lowering them at all. So if you have a low spot back here, let's turn the barrel up right. You're in lockup. Yeah. The slide and barrel moving back, you're gonna have to overcome that hill like this. That's what you don't want. You want a flat. And that's what produces okay. a really smooth roll off of those lugs. So what you're saying is it's not that easy to <laughs> to not have a low spot at the back with a round file. Right. Try to round file, move it directly. Flat surface with a round file. Flat That's surface with a round file. Yeah. Right on. That's basically what we're doing. <laughs> right on. There you have it. He is busy. Who knew?